just take a seat right here and enjoy your cup of joe and save your magazine for after this video grab your glasses if you can't see this video and smell the flowers and enjoy this video Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I have missed this. I've only been doing shorts because, well, for one, it's easier. And two, I really have no idea what I want to film. And then I started doing these tiny builds and I have a lot of fun doing them for shorts. Except it only sucks because I only have one minute to fit everything in the video and that can be a little stressful. I decided to make an actual video, plus I miss talking to you. Shorts it just makes it really hard because I want longer than a minute to talk. Also filming this actual video, like I can explain everything just in case people want to buy this and do it themselves because, you know, tiny things are so cute. I get these off of Amazon, which will be linked down below. I also, and I also have this coffee house one linked in all of my descriptions on my shorts. If you want this coffee house one, you can just click, click on that link in the description. Or if you want other things, you can just type in DIY miniature dollhouse kits and there will be quite a bit that comes up. The first one that I made, I was not expecting to have to build the entire thing when I first ordered it. I thought that it was going to come in a house and then I was going to just have to put the furniture in there. Open up the box and it's all in pieces and I'm like, what? I have to build it? I'm like, I don't even know if I have patience to do this. I don't even have patience to put together a puzzle. When I say you have to put this together, you have to do it all like they give you like this wire you have to measure it and then cut it and then which there's something in this one that we're doing today that i'm gonna have to do that and i think it might be with this one too and then everything else that you have to cut comes like this Oh, hello. They are numbered so you know which ones they are. The only things that are not numbered are the wood pieces, like these. But they do have these numbers on them. But anyways, so I have made that first house that I made. Um, I don't have any pictures of it because I left it at my mom's house. I wanted to throw it away because since it was my first build, it looks horrible. Just because I wasn't expecting to have to build the whole thing. But once I saw it all come together, I'm like, you know, I really like this because I like tiny things that I make. Like, I'm so proud of the little things that I make because I'm like, yeah, I made this. So I ended up just leaving it at my mom's house. My nieces like to play with it. <laughs> Even though it's called a dollhouse, it's not really made to play with because they are pretty fragile because you use glue. And the one that is at my mom's is already falling apart with my nieces playing with it but it's totally fine they can play with it they can ruin it i don't care i don't want it the ones that i do have no touch <laughs> so i do have a camper i actually i love this one And then I also have a greenhouse that my stepdad got me for Christmas one year. And y'all, that one was the hardest one I have ever done. Like, I struggled with the walls and the roof. And yes, these do have lights and you have to do the wiring for it too, which isn't hard. It's just like positive and negatives. I also have a Christmas one where it's just one room. And I do put that away for the year when it's not Christmas. And the one that I just finished is House on Top of Water, which my stepdad also got me. And that one was pretty difficult as well. He keeps getting me the hard ones. Like, I saw this one on Amazon and I looked at it and I'm like, that looks so cool, but too much work. And I just scrolled past it and then opened up my Christmas present and there it is. It's like one of those things that like a haunted doll that you throw away and then it comes back. It was like that. Now I'm super happy that I finished that one and got it done with. Now I have this coffee house one. 
I also just got a Halloween one. I saw they had Halloween and I had to get it. So that's going to be the next one I work on. So I think I'm going to finish this one fast. Enough talking. I literally talked 18 minutes. So I have these scissors the just regular house scissors i think a lot of the kits come with tools i think i've had a couple that didn't come with tools but i just save them just because like why get rid of them they're perfectly good tools so it comes with a ruler it goes by centimeters and also comes with a box cutter it comes with a tweezers i have two right now just because of other kits and it does come with little scissors. I don't like them because my fingers end up cramping or hurting using these little things. So I have this packet. Here is this packet. It has some wood in it. Here's beads, which you pretty much use for a lot of things. This one, I think, has a lot of plants. Also used them for, I think, just like decorations. Also have this packet with some more wood pieces and all of the cutouts. I have been using cardboard to put everything on because the glue can get pretty messy. As you see, there's glue here. But I also have, like, you know those lap table thingies that you put your laptop on? I have one of those, like, I use my old one and I pretty much use that for all my crops. I mean... <laughs> I was gonna say crafts and then I was thinking how crappy it looks from using it for like literally all of my builds and so like it came out as crops <laughs> anyways that's what I use for all of my crafts and it looks like crap okay today today kids I feel like I'm teaching today I'm gonna do the chair and this table let's do the chair looks like this and then we need the legs so then oh yeah i forgot to show this is the glue that i use i get the three in one beacon brand oh some of the boxes i don't know if a lot of them but the some that i've had comes with glue and that stuff is horrible it's like Elmer's glue and it doesn't stick this dries pretty quickly I mean it's it's still like tacky and stuff but it makes things stay pretty easily I got two glues I got two glues I got two glues hey hey so I'm just gonna glue these sides here Nice, look at that, they stay. All right, let's do the back of the chair. Those are so cute. So put that aside because we need to put get the seats, which is A1210. And it is right here. It's stuck. Okay, I got my armrests out. So they go like this. Now the uh, same thing on the other side. Oh, the back of this one's leaning back. I don't know why the legs are just folding in. Come on. Done with the chairs. Now onto the table. So this is the leg of the table. Looks like I need to glue both sides. The glue's starting to get sticky. So that means I need to pull it off the top. So I'm only going to cut out the book that we need right now. The book that's on the table doesn't even look like this one. I'm just going to cut this out then. Okay, I kind of like doing the books, but I also hate them because they always cramp up my fingers, especially when you have to do a ton of them. I'm just going to fold that right there. By the way, this is what it looks like. Usually, if the book is open, there's like pictures and writing all in here but this one looks like it's gonna be completely closed so there's the back of it front and then what we do just fold all the pages see here's the book but gotta glue the inside And there we have a book. 
I am so happy that the cup is already put together. The cup of coffee. Because there was one, I don't know which one it was, but I think it was actually the first build. I had to like cut out a little brown paper thing and stick it inside and make the cup and stuff. Let's make the glasses. Okay, we need one centimeter. So this is what I do. It always goes flying, so I always put my hand in front of it. That is small. How the heck am I gonna curl that? I guess they don't have to be circular. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, if I get this in a perfect circle, I'm cutting a new one of the other one. I need some pliers. Closest thing to a circle. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna try again with the other one. My thumb is cramping. All right, all right. I mean, that's not bad. <laughs> looks like, well, kind of looks like a pretzel, but it looks like goggles. There's my glasses. We have a plant to do. So I am making the vase right now, or I'm cutting it out. Got my pieces. Okay, so I have this, this, and this. I'm gonna glue this like that. And then this, gonna glue. All these teeth, gotta push down. And then glue around the teeth. And then put the bottom on. There. Cute. Okay, need this paper. I'm just gonna mark this. Oh my gosh, you can't even see that. 7.5. So the side needs to be three centimeters. Right there. It's stupid, why don't I just, duh. There's my square. That's not a square. My rectangle. And then what I need to do, I hate this, because I literally had to do this in the greenhouse. It has to be like grass, basically. I don't know, that just looks ridiculous. And I accidentally almost chopped off the whole thing. And then have these little things. Push these down a bit. Add some glue in there. And there's the plant. The table is all dry now. <gasps> Where are my glasses? That was really dumb of me to not put them in a spot where I wouldn't lose them. If I have to make another pair, boy, I tell ya. Wait, <gasps> found them. Thank you, Lord. Let's put the plant on first. And then the cup of joe. Oh no, why is it wobbly? I must not have the legs all even whatever magazine and my glasses just came apart i need to be more careful with them okay let's get them on the table before they break they look like something from wally -E, like wally's -E eyes and there is the table and chairs so cute bye get off me anyways thank you for hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and i'll see you in the next one bye